Hi, Rebecca here, and it's uh, very late at the end of a very emotional day today, um, and there was a lesson that my son taught me today, which I wanted to share with you, and basically the, the background is that uh, I had in mind to do a training that starts tomorrow morning, actually, in a few hours. Um, and uh, it was very expensive, um, turns out it would take quite a long time. I didn't get any answers as to the details of it until two, a couple of days ago, two nights ago. And so, yeah, really short notice, and it turned out that there was one place left. So agreed to sleep on it and chat to my partner the next morning um, and and uh, yeah that didn't happen very quickly this morning and so the whole day slipped by with this awful dilemma hanging over me about am I going to go up to London tonight and start this course tomorrow and spend thousands of pounds and Oh, commit myself to a year's worth of work and it all felt a bit ungrounded and I was kind of drawn to the course but didn't didn't have it I knew the timing wasn't right and uh, it's Easter holidays and you know the children weren't looked after and my partner has meetings tomorrow and lots else to do and um it all felt really stressy and talk about not being a syntonic uh, environment today well, I was not emotionally in harmony with my environment at all and I've wept and wailed and agonized and was drawn to a sort of comatose shell and on repeat um, and my partner's take on it all when I finally did get to talk to him was uh, like it was absurd I was absurd the whole idea was absurd the whole thing was absurd and uh, it was like I was announcing I was going to climb Mount Everest tomorrow and buy the clothes on the way which kind of isn't far off really because I feel like a country bumpkin with nothing to wear and um, nowhere to stay as it turned out but um in all of the decision-making process, I needed to consult my eight and a half year old because it's his holidays and, you know, I didn't want to go and do this course and abandon my children and, uh, yeah, damage them for life. Um, and so I had, the first time I had asked him when it first came up, he was like, oh my no, don't go. And then I said, oh God, I just never will escape. I, you know. Um, and then later uh, on today, I I asked again, and I think I'd, I'd annoyed him. So he, he was like, just go, just go. And then finally I, sa I sa said, listen, I need to know how you feel if I were to go and do this. And... Uh, he was just a bit exasperated with me and turned around and said, oh, Mommy, just do what you want. And honestly, it stopped me in my tracks because I've been so focused on the things I didn't want. I didn't want to them to feel abandoned if I went off for the rest of the holidays. I, I didn't want to waste my money on a course if I couldn't really make the best use of it or if I hadn't you know really like checked it was congruent and aligned with what I want to do I I, I didn't want to start something that was a huge time and money investment if I hadn't tied up the loose ends of things and, and we recently re relocated and there's so much to do here and um And, and to embark on something that would require a year's worth of work after the course um, was not really something to take lightly. In a way, my partner was right, um, and to rush into. I s suddenly realised that I had been focused on all the things I didn't want, 
And when he asked me that question, just do what you want. Yeah, of course it's a simplistic thing for a child to say, but sometimes children have such wisdom in that simplicity, don't they? And as adults, we get so caught up. And so I literally, I put on the gardening gloves, just got my hands in the soil, started weeding, and um, in order to ground. And I thought, so what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Yes, I want to develop myself. I want to make a difference in the world. And I want to fill the memory bank of memories this Easter holidays with my children and enjoy that freedom before we get tied to the, sc the school runs again. I want to see the flowers grow in our garden for the first time since we've moved here. I don't even know what's here and they pop up things every day. I, I don't want to be stuck in London in some hotel room or conference room or whatever and, and miss all of that. I, I want to go places and I want to do that. And it threw up, what do, what, what do I want? What do I don't want? What do I want? What do I need? Those are different things. What I need, actually, is to tie up a few loose ends. I need to get a proper work set up. I need to apply myself and make my home a home. I need to get my children settled and happy into their new schools before I go making that kind of a commitment. And yet this course started tomorrow and I was stuck in this awful, just so, such a painful cycle of going round and round back and forth. And, and it came back to this, what do I want? And I realised that when we focus on our fears, when our fears are what drive us and speak to us, my fear being probably that I'm not good enough, that I can't actually get out there and start to make my difference and start to earn some money unless I go and do another course. My fear that if I don't do it tomorrow, I might never do it. Um, my fear that if I didn't do it, that the rest of the Easter holidays would be squandered and I'd be just trying to tear children away from the television and we still wouldn't get our days and we wouldn't create our memories and I could have gone. I was so focused on all of those, what I didn't want. And of course that's, that's what you attract, where thought goes, energy flows, what you focus on you get. I know that. And it's so easy to forget it and and you get stuck in those fears and the fears talk and the fears drive you to make stupid decisions or not no decisions and instead we need to think about what do we want and consciously attract that and you know what the punchline of the story is that after an agonizing day where even when time had drifted on that really it wasn't really an option but still part of me wanted to pack a bag and jump in the car and hope I could find somewhere to stay tonight and there might be a place. I checked my emails last thing and um, the place had gone. But there was such demand for the course that there's going to be another one in June. And that could work. That gives me enough breathing time to do the things that I need and to do the things that I want this Easter holidays with my children and to properly research into it and speak to the graduates and get experience the therapy myself before I go committing £8,000 in a year, a year's of work after the course, um, so that I can properly plan for and decide on uh, a course in June if that's what I decide to do. And I can ensure that I do it because I definitely feel that that's congruent and aligned with my what I want to get out there for Syntonic, my Syntonic living journey and my contribution. Um, and not that that decision is taken from a place of not feeling good enough because I'm a bit of a course junkie. Um, so there we are. 
get clear on what you want. So what do you want? What do you want? Because sure as hell, if you're focusing on what you don't want, you're more likely to be getting that. What do you want, my love? Bye for now.